Hey Boxers, this is part three in the video series, How to Make a Game Like Voodoo. In this video series, we're gonna show you how to make a flat version of the game Gate Rusher. In this game, you have a main character who goes through little hoops along a path, and if you do not make it into the hoop, then your character is defeated. All right, let's jump back into this. I might move this one over off to the, way off to the side so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. I'll select this guy, stretch him out like this, and move them over as well. See, the thing is, is, these things can be hanging off the edge. It really just needs to be aligned perfectly in inside these walls. So check this out. So what I'll do is I'll stretch them out so that there's quite a bit of length on either side. And so this way, when I'm copy and pasting these guys, I can slide them uh, down left and right, no problem. So I'll hit S on my keyboard, and then I can slide them side to side, and I won't have to worry about resizing the collision shape. So let's go ahead and I'll um, select my scene one. I'll hit D on my keyboard, and I'll do another scene. And then let's go ahead and change these around. So I've got the Taurus point and the enemies. I'm gonna move them this way, and like this. I'll do one more, why not? Go like something like this and select these guys, move them down a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just test this out right now and see what this is like. Okay, so we're going through our rings, everything's good. And then when you miss, okay, and it hits an invisible wall. So what we need to do is we need to have some sort of line here that signifies that you've messed up because players might not know that if they miss this ring that they're not only not gonna get the point, but their character is gonna be defeated. So they need to make sure that they know that. So first I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll add in a wall, I'll go into an asset library, I'll add in another cube, and then I'm gonna call this just decoration. Decoration. It's not gonna have any physics or anything like that. Let's bring it in, and I'll make it nice and thin. Here we go. Okay, let's zoom in here, kind of get a better idea of what's going on. And move it around, over. And I want it to be kind of like Gate Rusher, so I'm gonna make this real low. Okay, that looks good. It's sticking out just a little bit, but that's okay. That It's sticking out just enough. Maybe shrink this down a little bit more. We want to get it so that it looks like it's part of the ground, which uh, we can do. We can make that happen. So let's go ahead and stretch this, move this just a little bit more like that. And I'm going to center it so that when I stretch it out, it's going to be kind of even. And then there we go. OK, wow, that looks good. Um, yeah, and I think I'll change, I'll add in one more of these guys. Okay, and I'm um, actually going to hit Control Z. Um, so I'm going to hit D on my keyboard. There it is. Slide it over. And then we want to, we can either ch choose to extend the lines out past the walls or we can keep them within the walls. Um, let's keep them within the walls. It's going to be a little bit more, uh, you're going to have to kind of hit it a little bit more perfectly, but that's okay. So something like this, okay? And let's do that for each one. So we'll do two decorations, angle it this way, move it up, bring it on over, and then we just need to adjust. So this one, let's see here, I'll probably just take this guy, move him over here, angle it this way. Okay, perfect. And then the other decoration, I'm gonna move this way, and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're getting there. Let's try, uh, let's select both of these. One more, okay. And I think I might speed up this next part right now since it's taking me a little bit, of, just a little bit of time to kind of adjust everything, get everything where I want. So I'm gonna fast forward through this next part right now so you can see what the finished product is gonna look like. I think at this point you understand what we're going for. And so I just need to um, move things around.
So we'll fast forward through this real quick. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and let's test this out and see what this looks like. Okay, so we're moving through our rings here. It's looking pretty good. Let's see if we hit our line. Okay, if we hit a line, then we're defeated. Okay, so that's perfect. Now the only thing is that's left is to just change the colors around. Let's do that real fast. So um, I'm gonna go here to my main character and I, I don't like the bright orange. Let's do something a little bit more muted. Let's do like a kind of a muted uh, red color, okay? And then the purple ground's gotta go. Gotta change up the purple ground, that's a little bit crazy. Um, I think something like, oh, you know what? A kind of a green's not bad. Um, let me do a, like a lighter green. Um, yeah, let's see if there's a better pencil, color pencil that'll work. Eh, no, that's, that's a little bit too bright. Those are too, just too bright. Um, I think this muted green is looking okay. Um, and then the last thing that we need to change is we need to change the colors of the walls. So let's go ahead and do something like, let's do blue or purple, well, like a softer purple, nice muted purple there. And then we'll change the torus to that sort of purple as well. So we'll do something like that. Okay, and then the uh, decorations, let's change those to purple as well. Okay, perfect. All right, this is looking a lot better. And you can totally experiment with this and change the colors however you like, but let's see what the finished product is right now. Okay, so we've got this green platform and I like it, I like it a lot. It's working okay. Um, I think I might add in one last thing. Um, I think I might take, or actually I might just scale out these guys, the grass, so that it, it covers the whole screen. So, because you can see the black off to the left and the right, which is fine. You can either put another color or some sort of gradient or, spa or particles or decorations or something like that. But for this, I just kind of want to it to take up the whole screen. So I'm gonna stretch these out even a little bit more so that it covers the whole ground, the whole shebang. And we should be good. Okay, let's see what our finished product looks like. Okay, this is cool, I like it. Moving our character through our game, sliding left and right. Awesome, collecting points. See what happens if we hit the ring. Nope, no good. And then the same thing, if we hit a wall, it also defeats the character. And so this is great, this is awesome. But I think we can add a few more things in to make this even better. So let's go over here to our asset library and let's see if we can't find something that we can use as a decoration for the sides past the walls that can improve this game even more. So let's go with something like a scale cube, I think would be really great for this. So I'm gonna just double click on my scale cube right now. I'm gonna get out of my asset library and I'm gonna bring in a scale cube right now and I'm gonna put it off to the side. And we'll put it over here. Maybe we'll go over here on this other side. And what we'll do is we'll make the first scale be real small. Do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.5. And then we can also do the end scale, we can make it be, um, let's do one, one across the board. So it'll double in size, and we'll do a distance of about 600. And then let's just see what that looks like, and I'm gonna change the color of the scale cube right now to something a little bit more, uh, a, little bit, a little bit better. Let's go with like a nice muted pink. This will just be for decoration. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and just check this out right now. Cool. Okay, so we can see that the scale cube got a little bit bigger there. Let's see if it's happening. I think we could do, probably um, do it a little bit sooner, make it the distance a little bit greater. And then uh, let's go ahead and I'll exit out of this preview right now. And let's go ahead and make the distance be a thousand so it responds from a further distance away. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this next part as I add these scale cubes to the other scenes.
Great, now let's go ahead and let's see what this looks like. Awesome, so we just threw in a couple smart assets and it totally improved our game. So that's the end of this video series. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out because we are going to be releasing more videos soon on how to work with BuildBox 3 and how to make some awesome video games.